A local church forced to close after an arson is now back open. Royster Memorial Presbyterian Church celebrated that milestone with today's services. The pastor tells us the restoration process has been a humbling experience. Happy faces here for services at Royster Memorial Presbyterian Church. Parishioners happy to be home, even if home doesn't look exactly like they remember it. The beautiful renovation here is one of the good things that's come out of this. Pastor John Monroe says the new walls and floors are a blessing that came from a fire back in May, a horrible fire that officials believe was set on purpose. Monroe remembers the damage was extensive, overwhelming. I literally could not see the wall on the other side of the room because the smoke was so thick. And all the walls in the sanctuary were either black or gray, you know, covered with soot, so it was a mess. The fire started in the church's kitchen, the place where members usually host the Norfolk Emergency Shelter Team once a year. This year we were not able to do that because we didn't have, well, we didn't have a fellowship hall or a kitchen. The kitchen now looks better than it did before. It's still waiting for an inspection, and then it will be ready for community meals. Until then, church members are enjoying the updated sanctuary. At this service, Pastor Monroe shared a special message about forgiveness. Let's learn from our past, but not dwell on it. Uh, let's press on ahead and looking for ways that we can reach out in our community and carry out the mission that God has given us. Already thinking about forgiveness, but police have not made any arrests for the church arson. Pastor Monroe says he forgives and he hopes the suspect finds a new purpose, a new way in life.